G'day everyone, Bellame here, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI S. I am trying out a, dif a different uh, starting screen, as you can tell. <laughs> um, just because I like jumping right into those like um, recaps. They're so much fun. But anyway, before further ado, it is time to game with Bellame. Let's get that load on and see what is in store for us today. I'm super excited. Here we go. Here's what's happened so far. Having set out on a quest to find his friends, Belaim arrives at the mystical mountain of Peng Lai, rumored to have some kind of link with the Luminary. Near the peak, he and Hendrik find the temple of Angrela, where they meet a young man called the High Lama, with who, who with a glance knows our hero's true identity. He invites him to the High Hall to talk further. Once there, Belaim learns of how he would have come to the temple to train for six years, as all Drazilian princess princes have for centuries. If not for the tragic events that befell his home, he also learns of how Grandmaster Pang, under whom he would have studied, is no longer living, having given her life to protect the temple in the fall. The Lama, saying he has something to show Belaim, sets off to the field of discipline behind the High Hall. Oh man, I've been waiting so long to find out what is back there. My guess was that it's Grandpa Rab, but we shall see though. I'm hoping that Master Pang is also available because, I mean, Grandpa was just talking with her. Unless she, unless he is like in the other world realm or something. What if Grandpa died and that's how he met her? Oh, so many mysteries. Let us go and explore and see what we're going to find. So let's get up there to the high temple or high hall or whatever it was called heading on in okay here we are the high hall and I believe it is down here so let's see what is awaiting us oh wow this looks exactly like um, Grandmaster Peng before but it was like in a different otherworldly location maybe she and Rab did die <gasps> Oh my gosh, Rab, no. I'm hoping they're just like, just, you know, temporarily away. I don't know. We're, oh, we're going to find out, hopefully. Welcome, Prince of Dundrasil, to the field of discipline where your ancestors trained to become mighty warriors and wise rulers. The High Lama waits you within. Okay. Yeah, this looks a lot like what we saw with Rab. In those doors lies the field of discipline where students of angri strive for enlightenment. Maybe that's where they are. Maybe they're just, you know, uh, deep in meditation. <laughs> Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Erdwin? Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones, who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, Ai, accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Ooh, who's that gonna be? Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. I wonder if that's like Mordigan or something? I wonder if there's a relation here. Oh my gosh, so many mysteries. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone. A pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Oh, that's really cool. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. Nope, me either. Now, allow me to show you to the field of discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. Oh my gosh, let's go! I'm hoping it's a good surprise. Okay. Let's take a quick peek around just to, you know, look at our surroundings, see if there's anything cool to see. Uh, I guess there is cool stuff to see because of the snow! <laughs> 
Also, it is raining and storming right now, so in it just in case something goes wrong, I'm just putting that out there <laughs> that the uh, power might go out or something. All right, this looks like a battle arena. Oh, man. This looks like... Oh, this is really just giving me those flashbacks to when we were with Rab. Okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't Welcome have to fight. Welcome to the Field of Discipline. Since the Age of Heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. I hope you don't have to fight the High Lama. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors. An unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. Yep. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. Achievements? Why do you say it like that with the pause? <laughs> his achievements? <laughs> oh. Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, <laughs> disciples whose oh efforts my gosh. were given motivation directly to their fundament. It became known as... The Naughty Stick! Wow, of course Rab would be involved with that. During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. Oh my goodness. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's a tale. He's a cautionary tale. <laughs> oh, Rab. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the World Tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Ooh, so he can sense that Rab's alive, but not th the other previous llama. Hmm, Master Peng. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honored if you would join us. Oh, that sounds lovely. We will we definitely attend. Be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Peng still with us. But in this respect, at least, we can provide. Thank you. <laughs> that night, the High Lama holds a banquet in Belaim's honor. The long-suffering disciples are overjoyed to have an evening's respite from their training and eat, drink, and dance till the early hours. Then morning comes. Oh, I was kind of hoping we could see the, the dinner party. Oh well. Awake at last. Hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master were still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. I don't know. I think Grand Master's still around. They keep talking it up a lot. It's kind of making me feel like there's going to be a surprise. She's here all along. I don't know. Maybe not, though. It just seems like the perfect opportunity to actually get a new uh, skill, item, whatever. Oh, look, we're in that area we looked at the other time. <gasps> this is where we learned about the naughty stick when we read about uh, that in the book. I think we already checked in here. But, you know, you know, maybe something new popped in. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know if we talked to her before. Good morning, Luminary. Did you enjoy last night's banquet? With the Grandmaster gone, there's little we of Angra La can offer to you apart from our hospitality. Please, feel free to rest here as long as you like. Thank you, except I didn't see a bed option, so... Hello, how did you enjoy the party last night? Our butter tea is the best in all Erdra, don't you think? Sure, it was delicious. I'm using my imagination right now to enjoy it all over again. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have some of that for real, though. It sounds really good. All right, let's see where we're supposed to head next. Ah, Luminary, I trust you slept well last night. His holiness awaits you outside. It seems he is keen to wish you luck on the next stage of your journey. He had said he intended to speak with you alone, but I hear raised voices coming from the other side of the door. What could be happening out there, I wonder? I don't know. I don't hear anything. I guess we'll see what happens. 
Maybe Rab's out here? Oh, no, house. okay. What news of him? The hermit? Uh... Forgive us, your holiness. <gasps> the monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. Uh-oh. That doesn't I sound see. good. Your holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us unannounced. Then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. That's gotta be Rab. That's gotta be him. Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. Oh, it's the gotta be him. has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. Looks like they He's tried to go after her to help. a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. The Knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this <gasps> Yes. Alone. I shall come with you. All right. We have a friend. We depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. Okay, so let's see. Uh, east after... Okay, I think that's where we were going before that I said, Oh, we'll probably need to come back here later. Let's see what this guy has to say. The clue. The path to the top of the mountain lies to the east as you exit the temple. Be very wary. There are many fearsome creatures lying in wait there. Gotcha. Why would that hermit head to the top of the mountain alone? Does he not know the place is infested with monsters that have been driven into a frenzy by the Lord of Shadows? Uh, he was definitely trying to figure out a way to help, um, if it's Rab, which I'm, like, 90% sure that it's Rab. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna go with that. Okay, um, oh, look, he's following us after all. <gasps> That's so cool. I bet he's gonna be our healer, or I'm hoping he's gonna be our healer. Although, he's probably able to pack quite a punch, so maybe not. All right, let's head on over. And uh, then go to the east. On our newest adventure. All right, going to the east. Yep, this is the way. Going into the summit. I think, uh, did we go all the way over here last time? I can't remember if we actually did. Oh, look, a tackle. I don't think we did, because we didn't get this. So let's go ahead and collect this. A staff of anti-magic. Oh, what's that? Is that, a, is that an item? Let's go take a look at that. Staff of Anti-Magic. A sorcerer's scepter that can be used in battle to seal away an enemy's spellcasting abilities. That's pretty neat. Who can wear that? Uh, I guess whoever can have the staff. So probably Veronica and Rab. Ooh. If we get Rab back, we can give that to him, potentially. Alright, let's go head in here then, because I'm... Pretty sure that's where we're going. Hey there, buddy. Why, for it isn't the luminary. His holiness sent word that you would be coming. You're going to rescue the hermit who went off to the top of the mountain, correct? Wait, isn't the llama with us? Where is he? Please be careful. It would not do for one as important as yourself to go missing, too. I thought he was with us. Oh, there he is. He was just hiding. Hey there, buddy. Okay. Let's go in. Oh no, we have to crawl in. <gasps> Maybe we'll find another place to fly though. It's very possible. The summit tunnel. And here we are with that music again. Okay, there is a very cool looking horse with flames on its feet and a black dragon. Oh my goodness, they are not holding back. Okay, 
I'm gonna fight this thing because it just looks too cool. A tantamount. You might have seen this already. Oh no, where is the... Oh no, he's not here with us. I got into this battle as well so I could see how he fought. I guess he's just hanging out and not actually fighting with us. Okay. Alright, well, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go with the cutting edge. I really like that one. Dang, that is so much. I love that. I guess we'll try that. Ah, miss. This was a really good move. There we go, that'll take it out. But now we have to go ahead and uh, heal. <laughs> All right, I guess we could uh, take on the dragon or just kind of run on by him. Uh, I guess we can take him on, why not? We haven't fought any dragons yet. I tried to hit him though. All right, well, let's see how this goes. We're gonna go with the, um, the guard. Yeah, we're going to do that, because I want to make sure that we can parry things. <laughs> I think that's going to be very useful. And we're going to... Uh, I think we'll do this as well. Now we have our defenses up. Alright, and now we're going to try for the cutting edge again. Alright, uh, and now let's see what else we have. We might need to heal, although... Uh, I think we're going to do this, actually. We're going to raise up all defenses. <laughs> I think that's going to be useful. Oh, man. We need to heal. Um, I'm going to keep hitting, and then Hendrik can heal. Because we need to do some damage to this thing. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Okay. Mid-heal. Let's see. How are we do. It's not even dented at all. We might have maybe should have skipped this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. Um, what else do we have? Um, enemy spells, and we can also buff. That would probably be good, actually. We're gonna, we're gonna really protect him. I, yikes. Okay. Now, cutting edge. Oh, yes, we're in the yellow now. All right, there we go. Now let's do some damage. I think we can do this. Man, his attacks are not super powerful. There we go, look at that! Our first black dragon defeated. But now we need to heal. <laughs> All right, there we go. And look, we do get to fly on a dragon again. I see it right there. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right, time to fly. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly. I love that. Flying is really fun. I don't know. It's just one of those things I've always wanted to be able to do. I'm sure there's others of you that agree. Another black dragon? I don't think so. We, we defeated one. Is this the same cave that we were in earlier? It looks familiar. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Look at this, a new treasure. Hopefully it's a uh, good treasure and not like a can of box. Ooh, sorcerer's ring. That looks pretty good. Let's see what that does. Okay, an elaborate band that increases max MP and restores a little lost MP whenever you win a battle. <gasps> That's actually really... That sounds pretty good. Let's get that on Bell. And... Boost agility. Increase attack power. Uh, I think we'll swap out for the agility. Alright, there we go. Got the ring equipped. Let's go back to flying. See what else we can find. I think we uh, need to go this way. This looks correct. I think we'll go this way. I'm so excited we can ride on dragons. How cool is that? I don't think I'll ever get, like, old, you know? It'll always be fun. And we can fly right over enemies. It is just fantastic. Oh, but now we're probably going to be off the dragon. 
Oh, well. All right, Summit Shrine. <gasps> Look how high up we are. This is like Mount Everest. I'm getting that kind of a vibe right now. Oh, this is so cool. Literally and figuratively. <gasps> Here we go. What's this? Is that Rab right there? I see a person. I see a person. It looks like it could be his color. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's not Rab. I don't think. Wait, is that Rab? Is that Rab like super skinny? Oh gosh. Okay. I need to save. Uh, let's, uh, let's do a camp. Okay. Settle in for the night. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there he is. He's just hanging out. And look at Hendrik practicing his fighting over there. Um, I guess we'll just, we'll just rest for now. And we will wake up at dawn. That seems like the perfect thing for this mission. Meeting this uh, meditating guy at dawn. All right, so we're all healed up and got our MP back. Now to save. Okay, it is time. Let's go see who this mystery character is. I see a treasure as well. I guess we'll go grab that real quick. See what we can find. A set of Grandmaster's garb. Oh, ooh, that could we could we could potentially give that to uh, him as well. I think that's Rab. Oh my gosh, that looks like his backpack. This is in. This is crazy. It looks like Rab's backpack, but it doesn't look like Rab. Oh my gosh. Hmm. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. Whoa. He died? That posture. It is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gotta be. It's totally him. There's the magazine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Incredible. Whoa, if he likes it too. Of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, this should probably snap Rab out of it. He'll be I can imagine Rab waking up and just snatching his hand like, give me that back. <gasps> They're both like, uh, really? Uh, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This at least some small solace <laughs> right Hendrik is gonna take that I could I just feel it he's like I'm gonna pocket this <gasps> oh look but this this is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil why would a lowly hermit have such a it's Rab oh my gosh oh, I hope he's guys. all right can it really be he's gotta be okay right Lord Robert Oh my gosh. Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No, he is still breathing. Wow. What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I was wondering if he was in some kind of situation like that. Also, you could still see the magazine in Hendrik's hand back there. <laughs> but there may yet be a way to save him. Oh man, I didn't know he needed saving. That's crazy. If you want to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. Okay, let's do this. But Go get Grandpa. Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. Oh my goodness, this is nerve-wracking. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Oh my goodness. Well. Will you take that chance? Will you visit the void and bring Lord Robert back to us? I mean, I guess so. That's kind of our only option, I feel like. And we gotta go get Grandpa. Very well. I will wonder what he'll be ritual. like. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. Like, whenever we bring him back, will he be in his previous body or this new emaciated body? Oh my goodness. Grandpa! 
Rab looks a lot thinner than the last time you saw him. He can't have eaten anything in a long, long time. A copy of the Oakler's Digest lies by his side. The blurb on the cover reads, Artistic pics and erudite articles for today's discerning gentleman. Oh my goodness. That's so funny he brought that with him. I didn't realize he treasured it that much. Like, I knew he did, but crazy. <laughs> well, Balaam, are you ready to enter the void? All right, let's do this. It is time to depart. Oh, he's going to sit next to, to which Grandpa. Every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time. Is Hendrick coming along? Right. <gasps> is it just us? Oh my gosh. My own, my own, my own. You okay, Hendrick? What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Don't make fun of him. He's, you know, helping. Oh, here we go. Who's it gonna be? Just us? Looks like it's so far. Here we are. <gasps> yes, that is where they were. This is where they were. Can we bring back Peng too? Master Peng? Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. This is familiar. Now I see what, um, I did get a comment earlier saying that some of those bonus stories kind of spoiled something. I bet it was this moment right here because normally uh, this would be brand new and we would be very, you know, shocked to see Grandpa like that. There she is. Hopefully we don't have to fight her again. Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. End of the journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. So she must actually be passed on then, I guess. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but do you know what fate awaits you here? <laughs> the vacant expression, nice. Uh, we're trying to find Grandpa? Uh, I'm gonna say no, because I actually don't know what the fate is. Oh, you poor young fool. Suffering? You have no idea of the suffering to come. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. Uh, thanks. As you see, <laughs> this world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Oh, is this... This might be explaining why Rab saw all those visions before. Before Idrisil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the world tree. Oh, so this is where all the them were before that, um, that rite was, before with the butterflies and all that? But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. Oh, wow. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. Oh. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. Oh, that sounds awful. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it. For you cannot change it. Mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? Ah, uh, yes if we do. If you do, you are a fool. And Fool's yet, gold. <laughs> you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Mm-hmm, like Grandpa. Some people just don't know when to give up. Like Grandpa. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, and she's gone. All right, well, let's head on in. I wonder if we can read this. When bright band bores through the heaven's doors, the sun shall rise o'er darkened skies and banish night with holy light. 
I think that's what it um, said when we read it before with Rab, I think. I'm pretty sure we read it. Let's go in. There he is! There he is! Aw, he's looking good. Like, he's still looking pretty healthy over here, you know? Don't think he realizes what his body's doing on the other side. Wow, he's doing lots of training. <laughs> Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. That's so- that's pretty impressive that he found her though, like, seriously, that's- that's very impressive. <laughs> you know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang, Grandmaster of Angrila. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. <laughs> Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? Oh, yes. Very nice. Ooh, it's getting very fancy. The precise Pretty. pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. Oh, Rab, you're doing so good. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the great sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. Wow. Super impressive. <gasps> you got this? You got this, Rab? Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up Whoa. now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue! I swear it! I wonder if she said a real word right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. She just said it's not good from his age, but now she's forcing him. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I think he did it! Look at that. Impressive, Rab. Impressive! So cool. How could he not be the best on our team after this? Unless this drains all his power, I guess. <gasps> Kamehame! Oh my gosh. I love it. Dragon Ball power. Well, would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Look at him go. Hey, did you see that? <laughs> I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! He's so happy. Mm. Yes, very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage, but it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? That probably doesn't happen often. Woohoo! For the first <laughs> time in my life, Wow, first time! Me a compliment. Whoa! Oh, that's warmed my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff! Oh my gosh, Rab. <sighs> Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. Yay! Come on! Smile, man! Smile for your grandpa! Oh my! Is it... is it really you, laddie? It's us! It's us! Oh, oh yay! Well. Your oh. poor young life oh, no. snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We might be able to get out of here. We'll see. We'll try. Oh, stop your sniveling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here then? To get you. He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. A world above? So we're below? Oh. Hmm. Aww. But I only came here to... You went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Well, maybe in here, but in the real world, uh, you need some food. Finer than ever, in fact. 
Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. Nice, let's do this. Hopefully it's easy to leave. Right there. Uh, that's what I was worried about. I oh, I cut her off, sorry. For all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. Hmm. Finished? Oh, but we haven't even begun. Uh, I don't like the sound All of this. Preliminary. If you would like to follow me. Uh, no, no, but I think we'll be heading out now. Okay, uh, well, I guess I need to learn something too then. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what is going to happen now. I'm a little bit worried that we have to fight her again. I'm going to talk to Grandpa real quick. Glad to see you safe and sound, laddie. I've been worrying myself silly ever since the world tree fell, but I should have known you'd pull through. As for me, I've never felt better. For the last few days, I've been training away in this phony field of discipline and the Grand Master conjured up for me. I just wish you had sent word on ahead before you popped in. All Pangy has a way of dealing with people who interrupt our training sessions. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, we're gonna get the naughty stick punishment. Here we go. Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. Aww, so we can fight together like the brother, the brotherhood friends, the best friends. For you, I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. Whoa. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ayi, our first Whoa. Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Ooh, that sounds really good. Well, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. Yeah, sounds great. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. Ah, there's the catch. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have faced before. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, Give it a go. Do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? Uh, yep. I do. I knew you would make the right choice. Now. Let us begin. The first okay, let's step do this. is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. Well, we do have our sword that we're using now that lights up, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, he's already got some. Oh, wow! Cool! He got a little bit. As good as can be expected for a first attempt. The heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the poor lad's not ready. Oh, man. Me? Why would I rumple my nice oh. clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? <gasps> we have to fight Grandpa. What? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? Aw, how mean. Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. There is no one better suited to the task. Oh boy. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Okay, well, that's gonna be something. Also, uh, we have fought him before, technically, whenever we were in that, um, the Octagonia battle, so... Yeah, but this time's gonna be a lot harder than that, I can pretty much guarantee that. Um, I don't think I can save, so... I guess it's just gonna be from here. I'm gonna see what Grandpa says about this. The secret technique of the Luminary of Legend, eh? If you can master that, there'll be no stopping you. 
But listen, laddie, I'm not going to make it easy for you. After all, I've got my own secret power to master. Get yourself ready for a right royal rumble. Oh, he's not going to hold back. Okay, are you ready to fight your grandfather? Uh, not really, honestly. Uh, actually, I see. You would be wise to prepare well for this challenge. Now that Rap has completed his training, he's not an opponent to be taken lightly. I wonder if we can actually go back and save? I'm gonna take a look. Just to see if that's even a possibility. It looks like we can leave. So I'm gonna do that real quick, because just in case... <laughs> Um, yeah, just in case I don't do well and it's some kind of game over and we have to redo all that. <laughs> Belaim, you have come back to us, but it seems your grandfather's soul is still trapped in the world beyond. When you're ready to return to the void, please let me know. Alright, where is... Oh, there's Hendrik. Okay, let's go get the, uh, save, which is right there. Okay, shoo! Okay, we actually, I forgot it was this close. We wouldn't have missed too, too much. All right, now that we know we can save and, and all that good stuff and, and grind and get some levels, let's see what happens. Let's see how it goes with Before our gramps. Continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. Hmm. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. Oh boy. I wonder what she's gonna do to him. Give him like pet powers constantly or something. Oh, 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 I have no oh my gosh. alive in decades. Let me add a little blighter. Oh, no, that's the spirit. Don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Just you watch me, <laughs> Luminary. Prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. The okay. More you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Okay. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do. All right, Grandpa. Come on, Nervous. Then, laddie. There he is. Show me your Let's do this. He's preparing. All right. Uh. Oh, uh, that's a lot. How, what am I supposed to do now? Jeez. Uh, I guess I should do the guard? But what's this? A single enemy, only version of an almighty attack. Originally used by Luminary long ago. Okay, tr I'm gonna try this. See what happens. 16! <gasps> oh no. No, not more doppelgangers. Alright, well first of all, we need to really heal ourselves a lot. So let's go with this, and then we'll see what they do. Okay, regular attacks. Okay, preparing for attack. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be rough. Okay, so I'm guessing we should probably get rid of the extra rabs. So helicopter, is that a group? I think it is. Yeah, we'll get rid of those shadows. I do need to get my parry up though. We're gonna just go for this though, see if it takes them out. All right, cool. That's what we need. Oh, I don't, I hate that one. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. Okay. He gets two attacks. Um, now I guess I'll go for the guard, just so I have that. Seems like a good thing to have. And there's the doppelgangers. We haven't even been able to hit Rab at all yet. Uh, or we could try, we could actually go with bang, boom. Okay, let's try boom. Let's see if that's any good. Okay, that didn't get all of them. Hmm. Alright, he's preparing. So his next attack's gonna be big. Uh, I think we have enough to survive, so... Let's go with... The cutting edge on Rab. Maybe I have to only use... I wonder if it, I can only use the luminary thing on him. Let's, let's try. Let's see what happens. Okay, 32. Good. It's getting bigger. Alright, alright. Listening to the directions. Uh-oh. What did that do? <gasps> I don't know what that did, but we need to help ourselves live. Oh, man. Yes. Parried it. Okay. Let's... I guess we'll just keep doing this. 
I need to get rid of the other guy, though. But I just... I'm not that fast. 75. We're getting there. Uh... Okay. Alright. I should probably... Uh... Heal... Uh, I think... Yeah, I should probably heal. Yeah, that, that probably would have killed me. So, good idea. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to... Oh my gosh, all these buffs. I mean, debuffs. Um, I guess heal again? I don't like this. I need to attack. They're just gonna keep battling me down. Alright. Oh no! Alright, we're gonna have to just do a helicopter and get rid of them. Now we heal. Now we heal. Oh, this is gonna be a while, isn't it? Can you tell is <sighs> and they're back. Excellent. And by excellent, I mean this stinks. Wait, okay, good. I get to go next. Get rid of them. At least then I can survive better. Okay, pearly gate thing. Big old chonker. I'm running out of MP. Oh, I need to heal. And then do my luminary attack. Please don't do the do doppelgangers right away. Okay. All right. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, big ol' big ol' one. One fifty. Oh, I can do it again. Yes, that's what I needed. Oh, Three hundred. I did it. First try. First try. Rabbit's defeated. Oh, Grandpa, I hope you're okay. Oh my gosh. Whew. I did it! I'm so excited! Oh, yes! Wonderful! I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing, but I'm so... I'm so proud that I did that, trying to learn my techniques from the previous battles. Oh my goodness. And look at that, we have mastered a quadra slash. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Ooh, sounds good. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? Aw, he's a good grandpa. I hope he I really hope he's okay. Okay, cool, he's good. The last secret of Angry La in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. Aw, thanks, Grandpa. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. Ooh, what name? What, the luminary oh. name? What name? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> what? What is this? Is that this is where you have been hiding? Oh no. Wait. I know that voice. Oh no. More again. That's not good. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. Oh my gosh. Is that like an evil Yggdrasil tree? Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh gosh, we gotta get out of here. Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach <gasps> here. Master Pang! It seems I underestimated you. Oh no, I hope she's gonna be okay. Oh my goodness. So inconsiderate. Oh no, there we had to learn something else. One last thing I wanted to teach you. Oh gosh. Oh, it seems we must do it the hard way. Ugh. You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. Oh my gosh, I was not ready what? for this. So the last secret of Angry La was not the last one. And Quadra Slash wasn't either. Of course not, foolish man. There is another, 
A supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Ayi. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. Oh my gosh, so oh my gosh. <gasps> happy. Oh no. You dare to resist me? Oh my goodness. You must do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. <gasps> we have only one chance. Oh no, this is this is really intense. Do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! Oh my gosh. Alright, he's gotta do his uh, absorption thingy. Oh my gosh, the Kamehameha thing. <laughs> oh gosh. Whoa. Now, luminary. <gasps> Unleash Quadra Slash! This is pretty cool though. This is so cool. Let's do this. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so cool. Yes, come on, come on. Please work. Yes. The last and greatest of wow. all the secrets of Angrila. The technique to end all techniques. Oh no, Solar Master Pang, please. Solar Flare? Ah, <gasps> here goes. This is so dramatic, I love it. Come on, slice through that evil thing. Yes. Looks like it worked. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my heart's racing. Oh, I want her to make it though. Oh. He is back with us. Here we go. Oh. Oh. But he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Okay. Exhausted after the events in the void, Belaim falls into a deep sleep. In his dreams, he sees the smiling face of Grandmaster Pang, lit by the light of the ultimate ability of Angra La. Then morning comes. Wow. Oh my. Oh my gosh. This is exciting, but also like very emotional journey. Oh my goodness. Let's see how Rab is doing too when we get up. Oh, we're back in here. There's oh. Hendrik. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. It was pretty intense. Robert awoke a short while ago. He's outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see him. See what he looks like now. Oh. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I have to leave it here. I'm so sorry. Um... This is definitely quite the cliffhanger, but wow, that was intense. What a way to end this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely had a blast. I love this game so much. Seriously, like it is up there with my top favorite games of all time. This is such an amazing story journey. It's just so much fun. And I'm so happy you're here to experience this with me. Thank you so much. And really a big, huge special thank you to everyone who supports this show. Thank you so very much. If you'd also like to help support, you can head on over to patreon.com slash bellame. And I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you next time. And until then, take care. <laughs>